Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. I'm Anthony. Today we're going to continue yesterday's programming, which was about emojis in our leisure category. And of course, if it's day two, that's what we're going to talk about more about today. 没错，我们今天要继续介绍表情符号这个主题。Do you speak emoji? 好，我们昨天呢有介绍过表情符号它本身多么方便，对不对？然后再来，我们有提到这个立田穰崇这位先生，当初在一九九七年的时候发明了这个表情符号，然后到了一九九九年就开始席卷全球，好开始爆红。那到后来，我们还有提到说有一个联盟叫做万国马联盟呢，它每年都会核准新的这个表情符号上架，供大家使用。那我们今天要继续介绍更多跟这个表情符号有。Our first paragraph, first sentence: Technology has changed the way people talk to each other, and emojis help people express ideas in visual ways. Well, certainly the world is much, much different now due to technology than just a few decades ago. Thirty,、uh, forty, fifty years ago, life was much simpler and a little bit more difficult in some ways, but. What amazes me is that this、um, the influence of computers and the internet really has changed the way people talk to each other, and in fact,、uh, you will write more than you will use、uh, in a text message than calling people up on the telephone and talking with them with your voice. Now, emojis are used in communication to express ideas in visual ways. Visual simply means sight, s i g h t. So, using a picture can represent an emotion or an idea. OK， 所以老师刚刚提到说，在这几十年来的发展，非常非常多的变化发生了。电脑也改变了我们人的沟通方式。很多时候呢，以往我们会打电话的，现在呢，大家还比较习惯传简讯啦，或者在电脑上打个讯息丢过去，这样子来互相的去联系。那在这边的话，我们看到第一段的第一句话说 ：“Technology has changed the way people talk to each other。”好，这个地方的话，就是刚刚老师所讲的。好，有了科技。改变了人们相互聊天的方式。And emojis help people express ideas in visual ways. 老师刚刚特别解释了一下 visual 这个字，这个 visual 就是指 sight， 眼睛所看到的。那在这边的话，说表情符号呢，能够帮助人们用更形象化的方式去表达、传达自己的想法。Considered casual at first, emojis were not welcome in work-related messages, but That is changing. If something is casual, it's maybe too relaxed. At least if you're talking about work-related or business-related messages, we expect people to be formal, F-O-R-M-A-L, proper, P-R-O-P-E-R, not casual. But that is changing. 好，所以在这边，在工作上，在职场上，大家都希望你要表现出专业，对不对？要正式。老师刚刚用到了 formal、proper 这些字来表达。可是，在这边的话，相对于这些概念 ，formal， 好，这边有一个字 considered casual at first。最开始的时候，好，这个东西 emojis 被认为觉得啊，这样很不正式，哎，这样太休闲了吧，这样子感觉上不够专业，对不对？ Emojis were not welcome in work-related messages. 在这种工作场合或是工作的需要上面所传达的讯息里面，感觉放放了一个那种笑脸啦，很可爱的感觉，他就觉得<笑>天哪，你的专业在哪里，对不对？所以呢，会刚开始会觉得这样做好像会不太专业。But that is changing. 但是这样子的一个看法也慢慢在改变，在可能在文化啊，在职场工作上面，在传讯息的时候，也有可能会用到这样的表情符号。Okay, the next sentence takes after, but that is changing. It is becoming more common for people to include an emoji in their work emails. So at first, it was not considered、uh, formal or proper for business. So it was considered casual or too relaxed,、uh, but that has changed so that now even business people or、uh, professional people may include an emoji in their work emails. 
。没错，所以接下来告诉你说，你看他已经在改变了嘛，所以他讲说 ，It is becoming more common for people to include an emoji in their work emails。既然就算在工作职场，在讯息往来当中，好，你放上一些表情符号，也不会显得太不专业。然后也不会显得不够不够 proper。刚刚老师提到 proper 这个字的时候，它的意思是适当的或是很得体的。好，用这种方式用这个形容词来表达得体的概念。现在放了这个表情符号在工作的这种讯息里面，也不会显得不得体喽。Some offices even use emojis to express ideas that only people in their company will understand. So in one's company, if you produce Goods,、uh, your thing may have an emoji, an emoji, something that your company produces, and other people might not know what that is. But in your company, it's well known. Yeah, 没错，甚至有的时候他说 ，some offices even use emojis to express ideas that only people in their company will understand. 就变成是好像有些时候，大家对于某些 emoji 有点那种 insider joke 那种感觉，呃<笑>、uh, ，就是哦，我穿这个符号，你就知道说，哦，这个意思是什么。旁边的人，外面公司外的人都看不懂，但是我一传这个符号，就说，哦，你在你在消遣我们的老板，或者是哦，你在说那那个客户那样的感觉，对不对？变成一个嗯、呃，算是工作上面的一个小小的内行人知道的，好、哦、一个讯息或者一种特殊的这种符号。In many cases. The meaning of an emoji may be viewed differently by different people. So sometimes everyone will get the、uh, smiling emoji idea, or a company makes a product and they use an emoji to represent it. Everyone in that company knows exactly what they mean. But sometimes the meaning of An emoji may be viewed differently by different people, and that is sure to happen. 嗯，没错。所以这边的话，大部分我们看到的那种笑脸啊、哭脸，马上大家就知道的意思是什么，也不会误会。可是呢 ，in many cases， 在很多的情况之下 ，the meaning of an emoji may be viewed。Differently by different people. 好，不同的人看到同一个表情符号的时候，可能会有不同的解读方式。哎，这种情况也是蛮常见到的哦。So here's an example of that. Some some people might think the folded hands emoji means prayer. Well, that depends on how the hands are folded. But some may say, "Oh, this is a prayer or a person who is praying." 嗯，有的时候他就举个例子喽。有些人会觉得那个 folded hands 就是双手合十的那样子的那个呃符号，有一个符号 emoji 的符号 means prayer。有人觉得这个符号呢是在祈祷。Others might see it as high five when two people want to congratulate each other or they agree. They may use one hand to hit the other open hand of their friend, and that's called a high five. Okay, so some people will say, "Oh, this is not this is not a prayer. This is two people giving hands. Oh yeah, pop!" This kind of thing. Others might see it as see something as high five. Okay, so some people will say, "Oh, this is not this is not a prayer. This is two people giving hands. Oh yeah, pop!" This kind of thing. Others might see it as see something as. We just saw something that was viewed differently. That view and this view are the same. They are viewed as something different. 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 Like the smiling face, I, I would think almost everyone would agree to. But sometimes an emoji is not clear to everyone. 嗯，没错。所以最后他又提到说 ，still others might think it means please or thank you. 有些人还觉得说啊，这可能是代表请或是谢谢的意思。在这整句整段里面 ，for example， 后面它有出现 some others。Still others. 很多时候，如果你提到说有些人会这样，有些人会那样，还有一些人会怎么样的时候，我们常常会使用到这个三三兄弟哦。Some others, still others， 这样子一个表达方式哦。Okay, that's it for our first long paragraph. We have another long paragraph, but we'll take a little break first.
Okay, welcome back. Let's start with people love emojis so much that there is a World Emoji Day on July 17th. I find that hard to believe, but uh, many of my friends, especially in the U.S., put emojis in their email messages to me. Oh, 真的！所以在这边的话，老师说 ，I find it hard to believe. 我觉得很难相信。但是很多他的朋友，在国外的朋友，都会在这个信件里面开始放一大堆的这种表情符号了。所以在这边的话，我们看这一段，他提到说，第一句话 ，People love emojis so much. 他们超爱人们如此喜爱的表情符号。到什么程度呢 ？That there is a world. Emoji Day on July seventeenth. 哈，居然还会有出现这种世界表情符号日这样子的一个，而且它是在七月十七号。Why July seventeenth? The next sentence explains. This day was chosen because July seventeenth is the day shown on the calendar emoji. If you want to represent a date, any special date, or Any possible date, you could use the calendar emoji, which happens to show July seventeenth. Yeah, 没有错。所以在这边的话，就告诉你为什么是七月十七号了。他说 ，This day was chosen because 为什么会选这一天，是因为七月十七号 is the day shown on the calendar emoji. 如果你今天打一个 calendar 这个字的话，它可能会跳出这个 emoji， 就是属于日历的这个 emoji。这个 emoji 上面的显示日期就是七月十七号哦，所以在这种情况之下的话，大家觉得说哦，既然这 emoji 本身就七月十七号了，我们干脆把七月十七号定为世界表情符号日好啦。所以大家就会这样想法，用这种方式来庆祝这一天。Some people celebrate emojis by texting only with emojis, and that sounds strange, but if you think about it. The only way people communicated tens of thousands of years ago, cave paintings or rock paintings, there was no written language. Yeah, 说的也是哦。所以他想说，也许你看到这句话，他说有些人呢，干脆用什么方式来庆祝这一天呢？在打讯息的时候，全部都用表情符号啊那些东西来传讯息。你也许你这样看起来很觉得很怪。老师刚刚就提到说，可是你要想想哦，在几万年。还没有文字发明之前，那些住在洞穴里头的人，他们就是用图画去表达他们的想法的，感觉上也其实还蛮酷的，不是吗？<笑> While emojis are helpful for getting across ideas easily, we cannot invent our own emojis. So people are using them to get across ideas to communicate clearly. But if you invent your own emojis, you may have that situation where、uh, you're even a friend. What is this? What does this mean? And then you won't be communicating clearly. 嗯，没错。所以在这边的话呢，你要特别注意一下 while 这个字。while 这个字在使用在句首的时候，往往你会注意到，应该后面有两件事情，他们可能是对比的概念，或者是这种相反的概念等等。我们看看哦，他这句话说 ，while emojis are helpful for getting across ideas easily。好，虽然好有这样的感觉 ，emojis 表情符号呢，对于我们要去传达想法。好，比较容易的传达想法是有帮助的。We cannot invent our own emojis. 好，但是我们没有办法自己去发明自己的表情符号。老师刚刚也讲到说，如果我们自己发明的表情符号没有办法有效的传达概念的话，其实那就完全没有办法达到它原本设计的目的了。However, some iPhone users, we're talking about the iPhone now. Uh, enjoy using a feature called Memoji. I guess that's how you say it. A feature is one、uh, skill or、uh, one feature of using an iPhone. Okay, so 接下来他告诉你说，不过虽然我们没有办法创造自己的表情符号，对不对？但是 ，however， 话锋一转，他说 ，some iPhone users enjoy using a feature called. Me emoji or memoji? Because he just mentioned this is me. Oh, he maybe is creating his own emoji. So I'm not sure if he wants to use memoji or me emoji. Oh, emoji of that me, right? Me emoji. That kind of feeling. Don't ask me. The teacher said, "Don't ask him." Because the teacher himself said he is a technical idiot. Here he mentions using a feature. 
feature， 往往指的是手机的一个功能。OK， 所以这边的话，有一些 iPhone 的这个使用者，他们可以使用一个特殊的功能啊，叫做 Memoji 这样的一个功能。好，它后面告诉你这个功能可以做什么。This feature allows them, the people who use Memoji, to turn an image of their face. Into a 3D emoji face by setting their own skin tone. Here, tone refers to color, not to sound. Hair color, the color of one's hair. Hair style, if you usually wear your hair in a particular style. Eye shape, the shape of of the outside of the eye, and so much more. Even more details about a person's appearance, especially the face. To create a more realistic emoji,、uh, when you see this、um, style of emoji, oh, I know who that is. I, that's my friend so and so. 啊，所以这个好可爱，对不对啊？他说他能这个功能能够让你做什么 ？Allows them to turn an image of their face into a 3D emoji face. 他们可以把自己的脸变成一个三 D 版的这种表情符号，然后 by setting their own skin tone. Hair color, hairstyle, eye shape. 还可以自己设定自己的肤色，然后发色，还有发型，还有他的这个眼睛的形状啊，等等。And so much more. 还有很多其他功能。干嘛 ？To create a more realistic emoji. 这样就能够创造出一个很特殊而且很写实的这样的表情符号。What amazes me most is this is 3D. Yeah, 还是而且是三三 D 的那种哦，它可以这样转来转去的哦，超酷的啦。It seems that emojis are likely to evolve into a new form of communication. If you can just use pictures to communicate, or mostly pictures to communicate, then maybe emojis are worthwhile. Yeah, 所以在这边最后一句话说了 ，It seems that 感觉上似乎怎么样呢？ Emojis are likely to evolve into a new form of communication. 这里面有几个字蛮重要的 It's likely to 就是很可能会怎么样 evolve 进化成 a new form of communication 指的就是指新一种的这种沟通方式或是形态 Well, that's it for our text, but we'll be back in a moment with our review. Okay, number one, visual. As we said, this refers to things that you look at or、uh, sight. S i g h t. If it's listening, then it's audio. A u d i o. A u d i o. Music is audio. Movies are visual、mm. and audio. 没错，所以在这边的话，第一个字叫做 visual， 就是眼睛所看到的。他们说嘛 ，in a more visual way， 以更具象化、形象化的方式去传达讯息。老师刚刚提到另外一个字 audio，audio audio 的话就是听觉的，跟听觉有关的。所以有时候你会听到 audio visual， 就是指视听相关的设备或器材这样的一个形容词。所以第一个字 visual 就是视觉上的。Number two, casual. This means not formal or simply relaxed. 嗯，没错。第二个字呢是一个形容词 ，casual， 指的是比较随性的或是非正式的这样的一个概念。Number three, we have a series of、uh, pronouns here or adjectives: some, others, still others. If you have three groups of people or、uh, three types of things, then Remember this; it's very useful because it will separate the first group from the second group from the third group. 没错，如果今天你要特别提到有不同类型的什么什么事物，有一类是这样，那一类是这样，还有什么样的情况的时候呢？你可以使用这个套组，就是 some others still others 来表达说有这些类型。Number four, fold. Very simply, is to bend, b e n d. If you think of a piece of paper, and you want to make it、uh, into two equal pieces of paper, you must fold it first before you cut it. Yeah, 第四个字呢就是 fold. Fold 字的字的意思呢就是把东西折叠起来。如果说今天呢，你说到 folded hands， 就是呢把手交叠叠在一起，可能是双手合十这样的形态。
Number five, get across. Now this refers to sending your message so that it will be received or communicate. Yeah, 第五个字呢就是 get across. Get across, 十之八九，要么就是把东西送到别人手上，或者是呢把讯息传达给别人，让别人能够了解你在说什么。Number six, invent is to create to make something new. Yeah, 第六个字 invent 这个字，它是一个动词，指的是创造 ，to 发明出一个从来没有出现过的东西，叫做 invent. Number seven, allow somebody to, and then we'll add a verb, 不定词 This is to let, l e t, somebody do something. It can be used in the negative. I do not. Allows students to chat during class. Hmm. In this case, the word allow somebody to do something is to let someone do something. Teacher, you can. Teacher, you just mentioned that you can use let to express. Of course, you can use the negative way. I do not allow students to chat during class. I do not allow students to chat during class. I do not allow students to chat during class. I do not allow students to chat during class. I do not allow students to chat during class. I do not allow students to chat during class. Is contact between two minds or two people, and they try to get across their ideas. 嗯，最后一个字 communication 就是沟通这个名词，它跟第五个我们介绍的字 get across 有很大的关联。那它的意思的话就是沟通，两个人在交换想法，互相去表达彼此想传达的意念。That's it for today, our second day in the leisure category. Well, why don't you?、Uh, Uh, text one of your friends and use some emojis, and you can practice what you learned today in English. 没错，因为今天是七月十五号，后天就七月十七号了嘛。不妨你们可以在后天试试看，用这个表情符号去表达一下，好，要感受一下，甚至庆祝一下我们今天这个主题。还有呢，可以知道一下说哦，世界表情符号日是这样子的，很很很有趣哦。我们试试看吧。Okay, that's it for today. Join us anytime you can. We're here for you. Till then, bye bye. bye. bye.